out um, the energy vibration and the birthdays of the cancers let me pull my camera um, down some more I want to apologize for yesterday it, it was um, horrible <laughs> okay it wasn't horrible I always think that um, whenever these things happen um, it was not meant to be um, um, I guess my angels and guides were protecting me and this is how I look at things whenever they don't work out because I should have had a live session with you guys a Q&A and answer question and somehow my sound could not work the videos work my sound couldn't work and I didn't want to use this computer because when I use this computer what is happening is that I am opening up my computers to certain people and uh, and certain things that I don't want okay so I use um, Microsoft and yeah, I'm really getting fed up of Microsoft. I change everything completely out to Apple because of uh, um, that sort of a problem. I don't know. Microsoft needs to do something with their um, thing, whatever. Okay, as we look forward, um, we're looking at this week for you cancers and it's going to be the week of justice. It's going to be an purple elan week for you cancers it's going to be wonderful so this reading is for the cancers from the 10th of june until the 16th of june okay so this is uh, um the week of the uh, week number 29 and it's from the 10th of june of july oh my god it's uh, the 10th of july until the 16th of july so again thank you um for being here and this is your energy vibration reading for you cancers who are born on um, the 10th of July until the 16th. Okay, as we um, as I start laying out um, the energies of your car, it's, it's, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be, be um, a perform wonderful things. We're looking for the cancers, the cancers. What's happening for the cancers in this, the cancers, um, wonderful news. Um, the cancers uh, for the zodiac uh, birthday the cancers okay it's a lot of um, my cards just fell down the cancers okay so for the cancers who were born on um, for the cancers who were born on um, the 10th of January till the 16th this is your energy vibration uh, reading for your zodiac birthday and remember that your year begins after your zodiac birthday so if um, the 10th of uh, July is your birthday then the, the day after begins your zodiac birthday for the year 2017 okay um, for in general um, the year begins uh, on the 1st of January but not everyone is born on the 1st of January so your zodiac birthday begins after your birthday so now you're still sitting in 2016 and for the people who were born on the energy vibration um, on the 10th of July um, we're going to start your week off and remember whenever the energy of justice because the week is uh, the energy of justice which is balancing a lot of balancing a lot of karmatic balances uh, a lot of earthly balances situation that has happened on her this is the energy of justice if you have a, something in the legal system if you are vibrating with the law if you have something to do with the law of the legal system in this year um, you will um, survive it and it depends on who you are and what position you're carrying and what energy vibration you have been given out and you know people always think that they can get away with stuff but it's not going to be a year that people are going to get away with stuff okay so justice is uh, this week's uh, energy vibration congratulations to the people who were born on the 10th of July because on the 10th of July what is happening for you is this is the changing of the guard for the year 2017 energy vibration for you and what is happening is that um, 
um, this year is going to be a year that you're going to connect with your spirit guides and you're going to look for inner wisdom. Inner wisdom and guidance is going to come to you in this year. It's as if this year is going to teach you something and bring forth information that is going to help you. It has the keys and the solutions to your problem. And this is profoundly good because it has the energy vibration of inner wisdom and guidance, which is going to pour out to you in this year, which is going to remove all doubt and bring clarity um, to you. So if you were born on the 10th of July, this year is going to be a powerful, um, um, I always say spiritual year, but it's, it's going to be a powerful year where you're going to be in contact and your spirit guides and angels are going to open up and going to um, elevate you and show you the way forward and 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 bring solutions to a lot of situation that you have been dealt dealt in with in your life. Okay, so this is actually going to be good. It's going to be a magical year in the sense that you'll be connected with yourself, but yet still you'll be understanding what it is. You'll be understanding life in a, a wonderful new, different way. Okay, all right. Um, we're going forward. Um, congratulations to the people who were born on the 11th, the 11th of July, because you have the energy vibration of the sun. The energy vibration of the sun is a wonderful, wonderful energies. And for the men, it's going to be a profound, um, wonderful year. If your birthday is on the 11th of July, because this year is going to bring forth, um, a positive success. Um, success, completion, healing, but yet still for the men, it's going to be success, a lot of success and, and, and achievement, a lot of accomplishment in your life. It's going to be positive. It's going to be a year of um, wonderful new surprises that it will be coming in um, into your life. And this is going to touch your life. And remember that these things are going to start happening after your birthday, because that is um, the zodiac energy of the year 2017 it will be after your birthday because you have been vibrating in the year 2006 energy until now okay so congratulations especially to the men in this year it's going to be a lot of success for you men for you men success is going to be um extremely good business promotion and that sort of a thing new businesses are going to be um elevated that sort of a thing for the men for the women, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a year of healing and yet still successes. But for the men, it's going to be a high rate of success for the men in this year, 2017. Another wonderful energy because you guys are so powerful. The um, You have... Um, um, this is for the 12th of July. Happy birthday to the people who were born on the 12th of July. And you have the energy also of the sun. So this is powerful. And um, this is in the reverse form because this is affecting each and every person um, um, for you, the people who were born on the 12th of July. So what is happening is that the sun energy is going to help you to support you and vibrate and help you to um, positively, positively um, bring in forward a newness in your life. And there is going to become an healing. This is going to become a positive healing to you and to yourself in your life. And this is going to be extremely positive. So for the people who were born on the 12th of July, whatever has been happening, a judgment, a judgment is going to happen. And this judgment is going to be good because positive energy, positive things are going to come in your life. A lot of success is going to come for you guys who were born on the 12th of July. A lot of success, a lot of accomplishment, endings of uh, situation that has been holding you back and bringing forth new things, new positive energy in your life and understanding the way to go and the positive um, ness of who you are. So this is going to be one of the most profound years for you guys, because not alone with judgment. Judgment is whenever your angels and guides are calling on to you, but they're bringing you positive, the sun, the moon, and everything is coming in. The energy of the sun, whenever the energy of the sun comes in to bless you with positive energy. This is saying that your year is going to be completely performed good. Um, 
you need to understand that whatever you give out especially in a year when the Sun governs you whatever you give out that is what you're going to receive in return okay we're moving forward and we have um, the energy vibration of the world um, so congratulations happy birthday to the people who were born on the 13th of July we have the energy of the world and energy of the world is positive positive news are coming in end of um, end of journeys end of situation that has been holding you back ends of the blocks are being removed whatever cloud that was um, blocking you it's the end of it and new reality is taking place the ends of all conflicts the ends of all miscommunication whatever that was so negatively um, vibrated in your life so for the people who were born on the 13th of January and you thought 13 was a bad number actually it's not because you're working with the angels and this is going to bring you positive wonderful brilliant good energies coming in for you guys and this is going to be good news good news all around for everyone the energy of the world is going to touch everyone's life once you're you were born on the 13th of July it's going to be extremely positive okay as we go forward we have the energy vibration of the Empress this is for um, July 14 we have the energy vibration so happy birthday to the people who were born on July 14 this is going to be extremely extremely positive because it's a, a year of accomplishment and this accomplishment a lot of promotions are going to be here a lot of wonderful promotions are going to come in a lot of people are going to become fathers and mothers um, the energy vibration of women being pregnant in this year is going to be extremely good so if you were a woman and you were trying um, to um, have a child this is going to be a wonderful profoundly year this is going to be a year of so many positive uh, things uh, of oak in business um, you guys are very hard working and what is going to happen is that uh, this is going to give bring you positive promotions um, achievement in your work um, for some people for some people yeah kids I see the energy vibration of a lot of people the men are becoming fathers the women are becoming mothers and this sort of energy some people will be adopting in this year some people will be thinking about adoption some people will be going with their partners um, to see if they can use other drugs so inverted uh, even fertility so this is going to be a wonderful year for you people who were born on July 14 it's going to be a year of uh, promotion a year of achievement a year of bringing balance uh, to yourself and your world around you so this is going to be extremely positive so this is going to be wonderful congratulations to you guys who were born um, July 14 as we look at the people who were born July 15 this is going to be an extremely wonderful wonderful year it's going to be a profoundly wonderful year what is happening is that the energy vibration for you guys is coming out and coming in and this what is happening is that we're seeing so many different sort of a situation that is happening and you are going to be having a lot of um, karmatic situation with organization groups of people so you will find yourself that you are having conflicts with your telephone company met the utility company with the hospital with the doctors that sort of a thing you'll be having this year because you need to clean and it doesn't have to be these things just think of huge organization the city all um, city councils uh, um, whatever but group or a huge organization so it could be um, people at school at your university your colleges whatever it is but you are going to be having conflicts with these people because the energy um, between you and these people needs to be clear so it's not bad when as I've always said it's not bad when there is conflicts because we need to clear certain energies and certain situations in our life as we move on to the last and final for the people congratulations on your birthday who was born on the 16th of July and um, you have the energy vibration of the lovers in this year there is going to be a lot of um, partnership partnership in business partnership in love and for the people who are um, going to be available partnership in love and business um, financial situation is going to be healthy your health is going to be 
one of uh, you're going to be changing your diet you're going to be changing the way you heat you're going to be looking for a way to be more much more healthier a connection of the um, you're going to be looking for someone to connect uh, uh, in a partnership in a higher whether it's business or pleasure um, partnership is going to be a significant role that is going to play in your life so it can be partnerships with uh, even your kids and your family in whatever endeavor but the number 16 energy as partnership is here and it's going to be I'm sorry it's going to be a wonderful wonderful positive positive endeavor because it has to do with your financial situation so people will be coming together to be with each other with each other to connect with each other because they want to heal their financial situation and it's going to be um a very very um very good um situation okay you focus in this year is going to be be aware of the people around you okay be aware of the people around you um for you you know because the the key the the the, the the page of sword has been standing here since I've done the shuffling of your reading and obviously it's saying something to you be aware of people who are watching you or not because you're being watched people let, let, let let's say this you're being watched your telephone is one of the most uh, um, your telephone uh, placed you in either unconventional situation it can be good and it can be bad okay so be aware of this whatever you do on your telephone it is safe and um, people know and, and and read and 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 know everything that you do just be, be um, just via your telephone so uh, be aware of what you send out on your telephone because you you know your telephone your computers uh, they have ways of mean of seeing you because I know, you know, um, I can, I, um, this is, and it's, it's, it has been going on for a lot, for a while, but now it's getting very, very tight because of the situation, the changes that is happening on earth. So be aware. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the, he, he was just standing out there. It's just one of my really, um, on favorite card, I should say. Okay. Um, it's going to be a week where, um, the angels and guides are coming in but yet still for you guys what is happening it's your birthday and I hope I did carry because um, I like to give a good message it's your birthday and I like to give a good message um, um, it's going to be a positive positive year for you people who were born um, between the 9th um, the 10th and the 16th and why is this is because the energy of the hermit and the Sun you have the Sun energy twice so there's going to be a lot of success there's going to be a lot of success for a lot of people in this year there's going to be a lot of achievement there's going to be a lot of changes and whenever the energy of the Sun comes in twice in a reading this is a positive you have the Sun energy twice and you have the energy of the world and um, the energy of the Empress and um, Emperor and this is achievement this is a lot of achievement so a lot of you people are going to be an achiever of just wonderful wonderful situations in your life just positive situation in your life but you're uh, you won't even realize uh, for the people who were born on the 16th it's all about partnership you're going to be in partnership in this year and the partnership is uh, to make sure that your financial situation and health this is going to bring you a good um, balance in your financial situation and health. okay let's see what you have and you have pose fate and this energy that comes up I so love it and I'm going to look for um, it's it, it's 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 really what the reading is saying and there is going to be peace it is really what the meaning is, the, the reading is saying because it wants you the fates the fates and I love this the fates the fates so this is um, from the Oracle what the Oracle the wisdom of the Oracle wants to say to you guys who were born on July 10 till 16 the fates and it says fate karma acceptance that there are things you can't change and knowing that those things are 
The sincerity priors sum up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over, the condition brought on by the evolution of the collectiveness, by naturally and by your past experience, may be fate preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain event occurs, but you can accept the mysteries and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom containing in the sincerity prior. And this is good. I love, I so love, I call it the message from my grandmother. I so, so, so love um, these cards because they bring forth so much positive messages. And um, I've been called for it to choose another cards for you guys too because it's two different energies and higher power. And higher power. Um, okay, you guys got an eye of power. There is something that is going on because uh, um, constantly the message of the eye of power is coming up. As I've said to a lot of people, it is a time when he, when the universal angels and guide intergalactic and families and cosmic families are coming in. So here again, um, as an um, 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 showing you that the messages are coming in properly, and it says. Um, an higher power, conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine seeing source in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. The card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express it. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection with spirit and foster it through prayers and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good of all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You're always protected and divinely directed. So this is this is wonderful. I always get this card to myself. Um, if I <laughs> I always get this card to myself. I have been getting it lately. So I want to leave you. Before I leave, I have to give you because we're working with the Ascendance Masters this week, the Ascension cards. And let's see what the Ascension cards have for you guys. And it is air, and it says, I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. So, you know, you can always say this, I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring hope and peace. I invoke air to carry angels singing around the world and bring open peace. And it's wonderful. It's one of those wonderful energy. It says the element of hair truly magically um, cosmic qualities. Um, the Cephis are all elementals working for the element master dome and supervisor by the unicorn. So remember again, I told you that the um, they're magical energies and they're from the night dimension and they're the um, the dome and the unicorns and um, the magical support of hair and, and the hair helps them to, uh, to um, travel. You are guided to ask the unicorns to direct dome and is a uh, seal fields to um, spread the qualities of hair 
enlightenment, ascension, enthusiastic freedom, and divine vision into the minds of those who need them. Ask them to purify a current, the current of the hair and blow them to pollute air to polluted areas so that they may be cleansed. Help the fairies work with flowers by acknowledging and accepting them. So this is um, a wonderful, wonderful message to leave you guys with. Have a wonderful, happy birthday, and we will speak to you um, next year.